The Butler County, Ohio Sheriff is nothing more than a propagandist. And I am going to go over the best case scenario and the worst case scenario. So why do I say that? Well, I'm actually only in, let's see, six minutes of this video. And I've already caught this guy in multiple... Ah, uh, we won't say untruths, but most certainly stretching the truth, okay? So, and again, I'm only six minutes in. I'll leave the link to this video. Watch it as you're at your leisure, but this guy is full of shit. Why do I say that? Well, even before we make it past six minutes, he's talking about how his county has been hacked by Russia, okay? He also talked about how Israel was attacked by the Palestinians. Both of those statements are not entirely true. Hamas is what attacked Israel. Hamas does not make up all of Palestinians. And I don't want to hear no crap about, uh, oh, will they approve? Oh, they voted it. Stop. Just stop. It's propaganda meant to emotionally charge people in a particular direction. Let's talk about this Russian hacking that Butler County, Ohio experienced. Was that the Russian government? Or was that individuals who were Russian? And what was the, what was the intent of the ta attack? Was it to get money? I bet it was. I bet they were holding their systems ransom for money. Just like all the other cases across this nation. So, let's not confuse terrorism and extortion because that's what he's doing in that particular case. Now, I've got one more. I said I was going to cover the, the best case scenario and the worst case scenario. The best case scenario is just what I spoke of. That it was a ransom, basically a ransomware type of attack in Butler County, Ohio. Uh, I for, firmly believe that that's all it was. But let's go to the worst side. Who is it that they spoke to, that these sheriffs spoke to? Oh. So, now, wait a minute. Can you explain to me when it is I'm supposed to trust the FBI and when it is that I'm not supposed to trust the FBI? Because I'm going to side on the not trusting the FBI at this point, no matter what it is. See, that's one of the problems in this country is people don't even try to discern. They just go with how they want to feel. And that is not truth. That is not knowledge. That is not information. And it damn sure isn't helpful for anyone. So let's pull back a little bit before we start kicking out all kinds of videos fear-mongering about how we're going to be under a massive cyber attack any moment now. This guy is just one of the club propagandizing for the club and getting a lot of people caught up in it. Again, I'm going to say it again. Folks need to learn discernment. On the other side of things, folks need to stop running to YouTube, and I'm talking about the content creators, any time that they get anything that might cause some fear into some people so they get more clicks, they sell more products so they can make more money or feed their egos. Pretty simple. This guy is absolutely full of shit. Shalom.